Chapter 6, Respiratory Distress or Failure. Video 6A, Recognizing Respiratory Distress or Failure. Welcome to the lesson on recognizing respiratory distress or failure. In this video, we'll discuss what respiratory distress or failure is and how to recognize them. Respiratory distress is a condition in which pulmonary activity is insufficient to bring oxygen and to remove carbon dioxide from the blood. Challenge arises with the recognition of respiratory distress when the individual appears to be breathing but is not actually breathing effectively. Proper rate and depth of breathing are important to assess when evaluating whether the person is effectively breathing. The two main actions involved in breathing are ventilation and oxygenation, signs and symptoms of which you can review in your corresponding PALS manual in the table in Figure 11. If the individual is in respiratory distress, their airway will open without support. Other signs and symptoms include tachypnea, increased respiratory effort, clear lung sounds, tachycardia, agitation, and pale. If the individual is in respiratory failure, the airway could be possibly obstructed. Other signs and symptoms include slow breathing or no breathing effort, abnormal lung sounds, bradycardia, failure to respond, and cyanotic. In some instances, breath sounds can provide information about the source of the breathing problem. Abnormal breathing sounds include strider, grunting, wheezing, crackles, and absent or decreased breath sounds. For information on the source of breathing problems associated with each breath sound, consult Table 11 in your corresponding PALS manual. This concludes our lesson on recognizing respiratory distress or failure. Next, we'll review causes of respiratory distress or failure.